Welcome back to PSC Stack Live. Today we are going to talk about how we can use Microsoft Graph to register applications and service principles in your target tenant simply using a programmatic approach. In fact, through the Applications Endpoint, you can manage the application registered in Azure Active Directory, like uh, listing, creating, updating, or deleting an application, as well as, uh, for example, creating a new shared secret or registering uh, an X509 certificate key for your application. As well as using the Service Principles Endpoint, you can do the same with the Service Principles. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice. So, these are the endpoints I'm referring to. For example, you can list the applications that you have registered in your Azure Active Directory, as well as you can create uh, a new application, or you can update, as well as you can manage, for example, the certificates and secret of an application, as well as uh, you can create a service principle based on an app ID, and you can eventually manage that service principle and all of the settings about the service principle. So, let me show you how you can do that using the Graph Explorer in a target tenant. Here, for example, I want to get the list of all of the applications, and by making a GET request for this endpoint, I can get the whole list of applications. But if I want to create a new application, I can simply switch to the POST action, and in the body of my request, I can provide the name, the display name of an application that I want to create. If I will do that, I will get back an application registration. Here it is. And here, in the JSON that I get as the result, I can see the app ID, for example, of the application that I just created. So, let me copy this content because I will use it later on. And, for example, let me create the service principle corresponding to this application. So, again, I can make a POST request for the service principle endpoint. And in the body of the request, I will have to provide the app ID of the application that I just registered. So let me use the GUID, the global unique identifier of the application that I just registered. And here we are. Okay, so let me make a post and I will get back as a response the service principle registration. And again, I have an ID for the service principle and all of the information about the service principle that I just created and registered in my tenant for the application. If I now go back to my uh, applications endpoint, I can, for example, see the application that I just registered, but I can even do that while using the Azure Active Directory admin UI, if I'm lucky enough and my application is already available in the app registration section, because uh, it takes a while to get the application ready. So let me try to search for text byte app, and we already have it, so I'm lucky enough. If I click on it, I can see my application registered, and I can see that right now I don't have any client certificate or secret, and I don't have any API permission. So let's assume that we want to play with this application, and we want, for example, to uh, register a password for the application, as well as so a shared secret, as well as, for example, we want to provide a set of permissions, API permissions for the application. So first of all, back to the Graph Explorer, we can go here, we can provide to the endpoint applications the ID of the application that we want to target. So we need to simply copy that ID from the response we have got when we registered the application, and we need to replace uh, this ID, and we need to invoke the add password action. In the add password action, we have to provide a JSON content uh, which will define uh, the name that we want to use for the shared secret that we are going to create, uh, as well as an expired date time, which will be the next year for me, because I am creating this video, recording this video today, which is the 26th of January 2022. So by running this request, I will get back after a while a confirmation that my shared secret has been created. I can even can see the shared secret right here, and of course I will delete and remove this application right after recording this video. And as such, we can use the shared secret. So we can programmatically register an application and assign a shared secret to that application. And as you can see here, I have the shared secret that I just created. Then I can also go to the API uh, permission section, and I can programmatically register a set 
of API permission requests. So targeting my application and making a patch request, I will update the application that I just registered. And for example, I can define in the JSON body of my request that I want to patch the required resource access property of the target application, providing for the Microsoft Graph, which, which is this guy, this one item with this unique ID, I want to provide these permissions with uh, delegated permission scope for this one, which should be the user.read, and this one, which should be the directory.read.all permission. So let me run this query, this patch query, and I will get back my JSON representation of the uh, application that I passed. And if I go back here and I will refresh my application, I can see that right now I have the user.read permission and the directory.read all permission, and I will have uh, to grant those permissions with an admin uh, uh, user in my target tenant. So, as you can see, you can easily and programmatically do all the registration uh, uh, tasks for an application and for a service principal in Azure Active Directory thanks to the Microsoft Graph. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.